so thanks ratika uh, for accepting uh, for a session uh, with the gigzi and um, i really just waiting for this uh, particular session and um, you know we have decided for the session i guess uh, before uh, it's yeah, but but two uh, um, back, yes. yeah two months back but uh, you know uh, things are just getting uh, you know uh, delayed somehow what so um, uh, yeah that's fine but uh, today uh, we got uh this opportunity to have a session with you yeah thank you sir for reaching out to me actually even i was waiting for it for since a long time all right so uh, can you please uh, just uh, give a brief description that means what is uh, this all rounder is all about you and how you um, just uh, being yourself you thought that uh, this is some all rounder things what activities you did or uh, What, what do you feel a student must have all those uh, you know uh, such kind of thing uh yeah i have been doing a lot of activities since my high school and even my primary school i was the head girl at my school and i was the president at my technical club that was the technical society of my school known as dynamics and i was a basketball player for 7 years but i stopped due to the lockdown now i could not go outside to play daily and i i and i'm a linguist that is i know more than two languages uh, i know basically five right now and uh, i have been doing a lot of participation in all the activities and all the spheres of life so basically i like to participate in everything and to expand my boundaries and to explore more and to know uh, what is it how is the way of life so that is basically what all i do and i am right now uh, studying computer science engineering as it is my major and i love to do all the things such as indulging in politics even though i don't go there much but I write about it sometimes, and I write on romance and depression. I have been writing a lot of things, and uh, um, I I am a poet, and I write sometimes. I even have an Instagram page. I had a blog. I tried to make a website, but I was really nervous, so I never released it. Uh, it was a few years back. So yeah, I basically do a lot of things. All right. So, Nerithika, uh, how you manage time for all this? time management a lot of people have asked me this question but i really don't know how do i do that i'm currently in 12 societies at my college and i am also i just joined one ngo recently but i i don't know i just do it i just manage it somehow but i give a little bit time daily or weekly or monthly to so one or some activities All right, and uh, what inspires you to uh, be uh, as an active member of all these society? Uh, my inspiration is uh, in my initial years. It has been my seniors. My seniors were like pros, and I always looked up to them. For example, uh, I had one senior who used to uh, who made a web who made his own website in eighth class, and I was like, oh wow, I also want to do that. So uh, I was like, okay, I will try. at least i can try and there were many seniors who used to uh, who used to play sports uh, and as well as scored very really well in academics for example scoring a 10 cgpa and being a, being really good at a, as sports too so i always looked up to them but afterwards my inspiration become a, a japanese concept called ikigai actually i'm really a lot into japanese culture so ikigai is one of my uh, is one of my favorite concepts and it's a beautiful concept and this word literally means to find a reason to live even my instagram handle is based on this word uh, so it it is really close to my heart and it's also a book it was new york times best seller and it is really famous worldwide so these are the things that to uh, really push me to do more and motivate me and even my friends and classmates i have a lovely batch of classmates and who are also here so uh, this is it and this just the people around you and the inner you you just have to think that you can do it and you do it all right and uh, according to you uh, what do you suggest to the students or uh, what kind of change you want to bring in society 
Uh, what kind of change? I think that uh, you have to be practical in your life. It's not just theoretical exp uh, theoretical explanation or theoretical work will not help. You have to be practical. Not just copying assignments will help. Although everyone everyone does that, even I do it. So that is not the case here. But if if you want to really do something something like uh, something really good and something up to the mark, you have to be practical in your life. And that can be done by exploring. That is my point of view. Well, uh, yes, you are absolutely correct. Uh, in fact, we also expect from the students the same thing. That means they must be diverse in uh, all the areas. At least they must gain a knowledge uh, by doing some practicals, by doing some research, and um, they must be active uh, in uh, all all the things. It's not only about some uh, study culture or things. It's it, it may be about sports also. or uh, it may be certainly as you said that you're doing some poetry also or you're just doing some development uh, that is coding also so at least the so students should utilize their time exactly as they, they should not be just sit like idle and just waiting for someone else uh, they will do or and we just uh, you know uh, they should inspire them they should look for the uh, things that inspires themselves and then uh, definitely uh, they should work uh, around uh, all these things so they will gain a knowledge and uh, you know they will uh, just shoot their career uh, high so on the same basis as per your words ratika i just again welcomes you and definitely uh, this session will going to be very much helpful for the students and uh, hopefully uh, this could be one of the inspiring session uh, we will be having today okay uh, so ratika uh, yeah you can share your presentation you can share uh, your words with the students uh, who are here welcome all students we welcome uh, ratika again for uh, having a session on how to be an all rounder thank you ritika again yeah you can start your presentation if you if you have any words you can please share yeah i have my words actually i wrote a lot so i'll just talk to them casually um so i'll just start over okay because i guess a lot of new new students join so uh, good afternoon everyone i am ritika gautam I am currently in my first year of Indira Gandhi of Computer Science and Engineering at Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University for Women, also known as IGDTW, and I hope all of you are doing really, really well. And let me tell you what I aspire to do in this session. What I want to talk with you guys is to tell you my point of view and to know yours, as things work better when they go both ways. So, all right, I'll start now. Let's see. Uh, I just wanted to type out your thoughts in the chat box. Uh, so, what pops up in your head when you when you think of the phrase "how to be an all-rounder"? Anyone? If you could write in the chat box, please. Let's just wait for a minute. What pops in your head when you think you want to be an all-rounder, or with the phrase "all-rounder"? no one an image of superman okay superheroes yeah superheroes have always been an inspiration i've i used to watch spider man superman marvel dc ideal student yes definitely discipline is one of the most um, mo the major factor of an ideal student and any more thoughts anyone who wants to share for me all rounder is doing the things i want to do that is my interest yes yes totally i totally agree with you all right i think these are enough so now i'll tell you what does an all rounder means to me an all rounder means to me who has some legitimate information based on your interest or the major aspects of life be it a minor aspect or a major aspect but you should have some legitimate information related to all the spheres of life so an all rounder is someone who knows the concept of selection selecting something is really really important and this is one phrase and is really close to my heart it was taught to me by a teacher but he sadly passed away in november and i just remember his words so while teaching p and c the chapter p and c permutation and combinations so he taught me this key जिंदगी का हर काम सिलेक्शन से स्टार्ट होगा सो इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग यू हैव टू मेक द राइट चॉइस एंड मेकिंग द राइट चॉइस इज रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज 
after a long span of time it may hit you that you made a wrong choice so you have to be really careful in making your choices and you don't have to uh, and you have to do it based on yourself based on your interests based on your thoughts and not get indulged into the peer pressure so the next thing is to know your interests what you actually like and not to get indulged in the peer pressure so from and how do you know what to select is selection is done on the basis of your capacity so how do you know your capacity so to know your capacity the first thing is to start working and you just have to keep going on and stop at a point you feel exhausted so when you feel exhausted you have to uh, you have to stop and note that point that point of day or night is your limit and at that limit you have to just note it down and work it out every day so that you can just just you can push up yourself and pull up your socks while doing anything so coming back to the selection thing the most important question is how do we select so selection can be done through analysis and agar aapko koi selection karna hai to kisi important cheez ke liye to fir aapko site selection karte taraf selection karte time साइट सिर्फ तभी पकड़नी चाहिए जब कुछ काफी इंपॉर्टेंट सिलेक्शन हो नहीं तो आप बीच में बैठ जाओ और उस चीज का मजा लो सीरियसली दैट इज द बेस्ट थिंग कि कुछ भी ना करो कोई भी साइज ना पकड़ो और दोनों साइज एंजॉय करो एंड आप कोई भी काम 24 7 नहीं कर सकते सो so, अगर आप सोच रहे हो कि आप एक भी काम 24 7 कर सकते हो सो दैट इज रियली रॉन्ग बिकॉज यू हैव टू मास्टर इट एंड मास्टर इट रिक्वायर्स अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट एंड टाइम and basically that is that is to make it perfect and mastering is perfectioning so perfectioning may sometimes affect your prioritization matrix so you have to learn to have prior you have to learn to prioritize things so the next step is to follow uh, is to follow and to make a routine for yourself जैसे 1.15 पॉइंट वन फाइव आवर्स के लिए आपने कोई एक्टिविटी करी फिर टू ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी मिनट्स का कोई ब्रेक उसके बाद देन अनदर एक्टिविटी It's just like the for loop. So I hope you all know the concept of for loops. Actually, I made this for uh, the students of some Bharat show, but I think there are very less. So uh, the for loop includes the concept of start, stop, and step. Start is that you have to go where to start. Stop is that you have to go where to stop. Step is that you have to go where to stop. Step is that you have to go where to stop. Step is that you have to go where to stop. And the pace of your steps should be set by you according to your condition. so i'll just summarize what i said uh, the main steps are first selection that is based on your creativity and your interests and the second step is to know basically know your interests so you can be uh, and they can be based on the concept of monotasking and multitasking and i'll be coming to monotasking and multitasking at a later end so uh, the third step is now key to make uh, to make a to make a routine and to have some key points to make a routine you have to uh, they have to be based on your circumstance uh, on your daily life and uh, such as a time table or a schedule and uh, there there may be circumstances and there may be chances where you aren't able to follow it perfectly but you should always try to so uh, you should basically follow it and then if even if you fail even if you even if you fall down seven times you should learn to stand up eight and learn to never give up and then the fourth step is to checking how far you've come and it recently and it really helps a lot uh, to keep a regular check and the fifth step is to know is to reach out to your goals and to see ki aap unke kitne paas aa gaye ho taki wo aapko saaf saaf dikhne lag jaye dikhne lag jaye and this is one loop and you have to see uh, how properly it functions and now we come on me because uh, I, i guess a, a many of you joined a little late so uh, hi hi again i am ritika and i actually do a lot of work and trust me all of this has really helped me in my high school and my college life and i've just begun with my college life it's been uh, it's only been 2 to 3 months not even 3 months properly so uh, all these activities and all these societies uh, they have really helped me to build, build and develop my personality and i've just told you about the activities i did so i won't repeat it and just and coming back now now coming back to the topic so uh, i left one thing i left monotasking and multitasking so monotasking is completing and concentrating on just one task at a time and multitasking is to do 
मोर देन वन टास्क एट वन टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम ये डेली लाइफ में भी करते हैं जैसे कि टीवी um, देखते देखते खाना खा रहे हैं सो दैट इज मल्टी टास्किंग वी डू मल्टी टास्किंग अलॉट इन आर अलॉट ऑफ टाइम्स इन आर डेली लाइफ इन डे टू डे लाइफ तो और मल्टी टास्किंग और मोनो टास्किंग बोथ ऑफ देम आर रियली 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 इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर बींग एन ऑलराउंडर दिस इज वॉट आई हैव लर्न फ्रॉम बींग फ्रॉम ऑल दिस ऑल दीज इयर्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस टूगेदर इज मैनेज बाई टाइम मैनेजमेंट आई डोंट रियली नो हाउ टू मैनेज टाइम बट आई नो समथिंग कि इज नॉट दैट कि आपके पास कितना टाइम है इज जस्ट दैट कि आप अपने लिए कितना टाइम निकाल सकते हो आप अपनी अपने टाइम को कैसे कैसे डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हो एंड सम एक्स्ट्रा स्टेप्स इन क्यू टू बी हेल्थी वी ऑल नो हेल्थ इज वेल्थ सो यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ योर बॉडी बिकॉज इज द ओनली प्लेस यू हैव टू लिव इन फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ एंड another another factor and a really important factor is to become financially independent you can just cannot stay financially de- dependent on someone else and to stay away from negativity and find happiness how do you do it the key is to stay strong the key is to uh, the key is to clean down the circle the key is to make good friends the key is to find how you can actually do it and and you have to stay strong you have to stay consistent and you can do whatever you want i'll just again one thing uh, you should you should actually search it out there's one concept a japanese concept called ikigai and it means to find your reason to live and you should actually search it out it's a really beautiful concept i have even read its book uh, it's new york times best seller and i really recommend it wholeheartedly so thank you for being such patient listeners this is all from my side but the, just there's one more thing i received a question from uh, a satyan yesterday night that said, that stated please tell us about coding so uh, he was in first year and he asked me this question so i'll just brief you up for first year what do you need to do for first year you need to focus on data structures and algorithms and you must have heard this a lot of times you have to start from the basics if you are new to coding and go on to data structures and algorithms step by step when you complete a data structures and algorithm that would be based on uh, on uh, you can practice all the questions on code chef or code forces or the lead or, or the two platforms or all the three platforms or whatever you want and you can always find tutorials free tutorials on tutorials point or geek for geeks and or youtube even i have been uh, searching a lot on youtube and for python uh, if you want me to recommend channels you can reach out to me on my linkedin uh, or i'll suggest you right now there's one mosh for programming and uh, even aman dhitrawal has started one channel for uh, puts videos for python and c++ so they are really really nice and you should actually uh, search them out and they'll really help you and when you once you're done with dsa you uh, you should head out to data, uh, data science and after you're done with data science you can go to whatever you want mobile that is ui or ux uh, or web development that includes your uh that includes your uh, deep learning machine learning um, al- algorithms etc and data structures and algorithms is a really important concept and you should actually focus that in your first year so this is all from my side and if you now have any questions you can just ask me anything you want any questions or you can just uh, unmute yourself and ask me here if you don't want to write in the chat box you can just talk about anything you want uh ritika just want to ask uh, what's the teacher's role uh, in all, all such things uh, those you have mentioned um right now you just mentioned about the coding programming uh, that means uh, what i know is your first year student so uh, and uh, you talked about machine learning and uh, some um, some more things so i just want to know uh, what's the role of teachers since i guess we don't have that much of students who know about all these things in a first year uh, though they know terminology but not too much in depth so uh i just want to ask uh, do you do to any reference or you have a discussion with your teacher or something like that well, about computer science yeah 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 so uh, you you just talked about machine learning and some programming coding you go, you give references of uh, some you know, channels also uh, so i just want to know yeah 
so uh, one of my inspirations uh, about computer science was my computer science teacher and when i came to igdw i got to know that she was also from igdw she was my uh, teacher in ninth class and she taught me html really 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 well she was so impressive and i just so she was like one of the best teachers of all times but she left the school due to some reasons so uh teachers always guide you to follow the correct path but you have to do it yourself teachers can only tell you what to do and i would be really honest here it's not that all the teachers are going to tell you uh, going to just uh, just push you to do something they leave you on your own and you have to do it all by yourself so uh you just have to do do it by yourself and nothing and no one can stop you from doing it and one of the things that uh, basically one is guidance and to listen to them carefully and i am not saying to listen to all the teachers carefully listen to those teachers whom you really want to who whom you think they are good for you i'm not i'm not uh, saying it in a wrong way but don't take me wrong but there are teachers who who teaching you might not like because in my college i've very much some teachers i don't like i don't like their teaching i don't like the way they teach so i so i just uh, search up search about new teachers waiting for them uh, on youtube or online and just and just uh, learn from them i don't actually pay attention in those classes in my college but i afterwards i have to do it on my own so teachers can only provide you guidance on the correct path to follow but what you have to do you have to only do it on your own and basic uh, teachers can give you the basic knowledge but you have to do and follow the correct path on your own so uh, so one thing is this but if you want to follow uh, the computer uh, you if you want to further pursue computer science and machine uh, machine learning and deep learning i'll be very honest even i haven't done it yet but i am planning to so uh, you have to first do research in obviously uh, the i know the steps you have to first do in terms of research they will really help you and then you can follow uh, deep learning or machine learning whatever you want so that's it uh, well uh, ritika uh, one important point you have mentioned that students have to search out for the teachers those inspires them uh, those are you know something real which can uh, bring a change in their life that's what yes. you said Okay, yes, okay. So how so how student can make this thing understand in in terms of that this teacher is uh, can bring a change and this teacher can't. So this is something that you have to uh, you have to sort it out yourself. Any student have to sort it out themselves. He if this teacher is right for them or uh, or not. If they are really helping them or not. So one thing is that. you have to uh, you just have to search out for yourself and you can do it by making connections uh, actually connections in real life not just virtually so if you make connections and you go to more events you will eventually find out that yes the and the, and you may get some recommendations and what not and that can really help you to actually uh, improve on your guidance and uh, and things like that Uh, okay ritika one more thing i just want to ask that uh, uh, you know if if you are talking about teachers and also things right now we are living in an era of uh, online teaching more rather than uh, the physical teaching uh, we usually uh, have uh, before covid uh, that means we are having classroom teachings and also those things you know so uh, the student teacher interaction is being less right now at the moment okay because yeah. we are having a virtual environment no at, at this in this phase the students used to search out other options on the internet whether uh, some youtube channels and they prefer that oh that, that, that teacher is very nice uh, he or she uh, teaches uh, very good rather than our college teachers so does this bring any change uh, among the thought of the student uh yes it definitely does actually i won't say that all the teachers are bad because even my parents are teachers so i really know you always have to respect someone because for respect you get respect so uh in this online era definitely there's a, there's an impact on uh, because virtual teaching and uh, teaching in reality is really really different and you don't have that uh, that bond actually while teaching because you don't see them you don't know the aura they have but you can actually uh, feel it in in physical life and not in the virtual life so when you 
uh, so when you are moving on with the uh, going on with the virtual life so you just have to concentrate on what you don't have to waste your time because online classes take up a lot of time and you just can't muck it muck it up all so you have to search search it um, search it online to check out for check out for many recommendations and you can do it uh, even if you are an introvert i won't go into extrovert versus introvert but if you are an introvert you should always search it out on quora because uh, obviously everyone googles and everyone knows some recommendations before going on to going on to anything so definitely this makes an impact on someone's life and their mindset and it changes and they may not have that bond but uh, eventually we have to do what we have to do for ourselves and this is the only thing that we can do it by ourselves so that's that's all that's all for this question okay uh, you just talked about meaning of life by uh, that uh, you just took a reference i'm sorry the, what uh, meaning of life uh, you know you just took a reference of the japanese acha uh, oh okay word, yes. word, word, word. okay and um, i guess that's your uh, main reference uh, which motivated you uh, for uh, all such things okay so uh, does every student here uh, have a dif different perception on basis of that yes definitely everyone has a different meaning of their lives and everyone everyone is uh, for example that to uh, that that concept itself ikigai itself uh, describes itself as to find a reason to live so you have to find your reason to live not someone else is not you have to fall into the trap of the peer pressure or whatever or this the, the social circle but you have to find your reason to live what is it that you actually want to do what is that you want to make your career in what is your passion what do you want to follow so ikigai is something that i really suggest it has actually um, i didn't know it was a book i knew it from years but later a book was published so it has really described how to make a time table how to actually uh, do everything in a daily life so there are little little points and they are an important points for your life so this is something that to uh, one should really search out for themselves because finally at last it's only you and it's your body and it's your mind and your thoughts all right uh, thanks ritika for answering my questions um, students do you have any questions please you can ask to ritika yes if anyone has any question you can just reach out to me and if you're nervous you can reach out on my linkedin or anywhere you want anywhere you find me you can even unmute yourselves if you don't want to type out in the box you may have some questions you might uh, you might have some questions do you students you can unmute your mic and uh, you can ask questions well uh, ratika i think yeah, 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 yeah there is one question how do you avoid procrastination all right first thing is i avoid it i literally avoid it you just don't think about it and if it really affects your mind you just have to think it that you don't have to think about what others think you just have to you just have to uh, ignore it and you have to learn to ignore and trust me ignorance is a bliss and that will really help you in your life i guess i hope i answered your question any more question if you really if you really um if you really listen to someone who is brainwashing you then it's it's your loss it's not their loss they'll be happy by brainwashing you we just don't have to listen to them anyone who has any other question you can ask me but i think how uh, one uh, can decide that someone is brainwashing them okay so you have to be uh, you have to be woke 
you have to actually know know in general a lot know in general a lot about what is brainwashing what kind of people brainwash you and why, when is the, when is that situation they brainwash you of course if you are climbing up someone will always push you like uh, push you up uh, someone will always just try to push you down so you just have to uh, you just have to ignore them because someone is always pushing you when you are above them um, so there is one more question what are the main elements you want to keep in check if i want to be an all rounder uh all right i just explained the main the main elements so one is to one the first element that is your how to select selection because zindagi ka har kaam selection se select hota hai so selection se start hota hai i'm so sorry zindagi ka har kaam selection se start hota hai so you have to do selection based on your creativity and interest and the second step is your interest you have to actually find you have to actually look out your interest and find how what you want to do in your life so in not based on the peer pressure or anything and the third session uh, and the third to element is to is to never give up even if you fall seven times you have to learn to stand up eight and to never give up because if you give up once you will be at a loss and you will find yourself just just lost so you have to keep a check on that and the fourth step is having a regular check on your on your daily goals and the fifth one is to reach out to your goals and to see ki aap unke kitne paas pahunch chuke ho um all right so tejaswini is asking uh, ma'am how do you always stay motivated to pursue different ideas how do you avoid how to avoid the passionless days all right to stay motivated is to talk to people around you for example i have my friends i talk to them when i feel down i you can even try new uh, try doing new activities you should try doing something you don't like and see why you don't like that will actually indulge you in that activity and that will actually uh, help you to help you to motivate yourself and to see what is that thing i am not liking and you can even try something you like you can go out you can watch a movie you can watch a tv show you can read a book if you don't want you can scroll on the instagram feed read out the memes check out what is trending these days it's always it, these these are the little things that actually help you to motivate your life uh, motivate you in your life and the passionless days there are always days when you feel motivated but you have to actually keep in mind uh, uh, if you don't do it a little by little a little becomes a lot and that will definitely definitely uh, be a hit on your face that and you'll just, it's, it'll just hit you in your brain that uh avoiding these days i lost the time because time is precious and it cannot be restored so you have to just little by little go on and motivate yourself to do it you have to be strong uh, and staying consistent is the key so uh that can be done by monotasking and multitasking as i just said before so i think that's that's the question uh, that's the answer to this question any more questions yes uh i think i can uh yes yes start the cake okay so uh the question uh i asked you was uh what are the main elements to keep in check if you want to be an all rounder and you answered that uh one should like do the selection first okay and then uh find out that what's the area of their interest okay yeah. so uh uh one of my friend is like going through some problems uh, uh if i like share it around it's uh, more like a she she wanted like do something uh and uh, her parents are like uh, not do that thing let's just say she wanted to be a software engineer and her parents wanted it to be like uh, uh ias and upsc exams so uh so the problem is uh if you uh, there's uh, how should i like say uh, being a girl i, I, I am always like look you. for uh, security as well you cannot like deny that uh being as a human being you got to like look for security as well you cannot like go to a different city or maybe different nation like live by yourself so uh is it like uh, my main question is should you uh go for the security or should you go for the area of interest okay so i actually relate this question a lot with me so what happened in my 11th class my parents put me in the medical stream but i did not want to go for medical i wanted to go for non medical 
so uh, i was one month studying medical and i just did not want to go there i will i i don't like medical i don't want to pursue it so tell your friend to stand up for herself to speak out that she doesn't want to do it if her parents force if her parents force her then she'll she'll be in a loss i'll i'm telling you there are a lot of people who tell you to follow your passion so uh, and if she ha- if she is passionate about it she will definitely make a career in it and she she will have to even if the path is hard she has to just find out how to do it uh, how to uh, actually how to be financially independent so i think her parents concern is basically that uh, there are less jobs in that area but uh, i want your f- future to be secure so uh, i just think that she should go for her her interest and she should figure it out how can she actually how she, uh, can she actually keep a check on herself and how can she follow a path she can just i mean just talk out to her parents once if she'll be a coward she'll not stand for herself i don't think anyone can stand for herself if she doesn't not anyone can do it yeah uh, basically there are like more jobs in software engineering if you are a good one it's not like the yeah. uh, people are like running out of jobs uh, just the good developers are like getting the jobs so yeah but um, basically you're saying to like uh, if things won't go right you got to like do the reward and like uh, uh, go uh, pursue your uh, interest and like leave them is that what you're like uh, suggesting See, keeping a backup plan isn't that bad you should always have one ready uh, but i think these both are different streams or uh, different streams if she is going for actually what is she doing currently uh she has done uh cyber uh, security in btech it's her final year so yeah okay um and her, all right so she's already pursuing a tech field and it would be better if she goes in a tech field because cyber security actually has a lot of scope these days uh, actually in my first year i won't say that i know much about it but definitely from what i have seen from what from uh, my seniors my seniors are at really good positions they placed at google at microsoft and what not so they always suggest me to do something you really like never do something that you don't like so definitely she just stand for herself and i don't think uh, that she is doing the right thing if she doesn't if she is not happy with it why even do it so this is from my side okay if, um, she she was also a uh, runner up in the nalcon if you know this oh uh, in the what nalcon it okay it, uh, yeah yeah Uh, being a cyber security person definitely uh, so, she should follow yeah, she, but uh, i just think the, she's brilliant all right but you are uh, indirectly suggesting to like uh, go against their parents or what yeah guess, actually right. i'll be very clear she has to go against her parents if she wants to stand for herself because it's her life she has to just do what she wants to do and not anyone can change it it's just, it's just because yeah, uh, the totally society is, hasn't yeah i totally yet, so understand it's, it's, kind of like uh, being a girl is like hard for if you are like going to live alone uh, in a different city people are like uh, how should i like say you understand it so uh, yeah actually she is so. she uh, she's a lot bigger than me than me but even from my personal experience even i stood up for myself and i was the only girl in my class of 40 boys and my parents put me in a medical stream and i was just like i will not do it i will do what i want and you see and she has to make them sure she has to promise them that she will definitely do ro- to laurels in that stream and will not definitely let them down she will make them proud and she just have to do it if she, just tell her to stand up for herself and motivate her to do it i think that yeah that's maybe yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's a, that's a great answer i think because uh, if she's going to like stand up against this uh the stakes will be like high and she's going to put more effort into it so yeah i think this is a great idea so yeah, i'm going to take down the barriers yeah yeah after this session i'm just going to call her oh right. thank you okay. so much thank you thank you their question was really nice um anyone who has any more questions Ma'am, can you please tell the resources from where are you learning data structures? Ma'am, I am just not able to understand it. I have tried a lot of YouTube channels. I have talked a lot about people on LinkedIn. All say start Code Forces ASAP after learning 
uh, data structures, but I just can't. Uh, so resources, uh, uh, for the basics, you can always try out uh, YouTube. YouTube is a free source and I think it's the best for you. So uh, even if you don't, uh, if you, even if you need some more help, you can end up, you can uh, put yourself into into courses with coding blocks or coding ninjas. Actually, I don't follow them. I do it on my own. So Geeks for Geeks is one platform, uh, and one one more platform is your uh, tutorials point. And there are a lot of free sources. There are a lot of YouTube channels. If you want, you can reach out to me on a LinkedIn. I'll just send you a list. I made one for myself and for my friends. So uh, you're not able to understand. You see, there are basic steps that you need to understand uh, understand a question. So if you're not able to understand coding, so you just, uh, just you don't focus on coding, coding right now. You focus on this logic. So if you focus on this logic, you will definitely be able to code. Coding um, requires nothing much. Just you, you just need to understand this algorithm, and then you'll just be able to do it. And I think uh, many of the people say that code force is a little bit higher than code shift. So I just, said, I just suggest you to start code shift first and then move on to code forces. So this is my point of view and what I realized uh, in these months. And I think it'll help you. Anyone who can who wants to ask anything else? I can't figure out logic, but when I read the solution, I quickly understand that happens every time. Okay, so you are not able to figure out the logic. Uh, uh, can you please tell me which language do you code in? Python. Okay, so there's one channel on Python that is Mosh. So uh, M O S H. I'll just type it out. M O S H. Uh, so you can try his coding. I tried it in my class 11th and uh, it's a long video, uh, I guess about five hours, but it covers all the basic concepts of Python. And uh, there's one, uh, there's Aman Dattarwal who is really teaching, uh, who's teaching really well right now of class, of course, uh, class 12th course of Python. And that's, I guess, animated. And uh, I suggested you to just take it up because it's really helpful right now. So uh, try out Aman Dhatarwal and then if you're not able to understand it, you can just reach out to me on LinkedIn and maybe I can help you with Python. If you don't mind, of course. So anything else? Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, anyone who has any more questions? Uh, Ritika, one of the challenges uh, mentioned by Karthik, uh, he, he told about uh, that means uh, one uh, has to choose some different field, but due to certain pressure or reasons, uh, she or he has to choose some different field. You know, uh, this is uh, one of the challenges. What other challenges do you think uh, a student may face during uh, her, her or uh, his career? Um, some of the challenges could be mentioned with the pronoun challenges. For example, he, he, she, and they. So many of them don't include they. They include he or she. And they discriminate between he or she. But uh, they, that is, if you know what I'm talking about, they actually also feel discriminated. So I guess discrimination and less encouragement in this session right now, uh, I'm sorry, less uh, less encouragement in, in the STEM field, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics field is something that, uh, uh, that actually uh, stops girls from taking up the stream. So this is one of the points that I saw uh, discrimination and uh, parents pressure, of course, because this is India and basically a lot of households still are conservative about the, uh, their child's future. So they were not able to actually indulge it, uh, actually uh, overcome it. 
so you just have to be strong and stand up for yourself this is what i have learned from my personal experience and another challenge is that uh, your time management you won't be able to give time to all the activities uh, so maybe that can actually affect your prioritization matrix so these are the three basic uh, basic factors that i saw that were that disturb your of life your career actually i think one of them should be uh, financially as well because yeah i just mentioned a point <laughs> i yeah. mentioned the point before of being financially independent because you have to learn how to be financially independent you just cannot depend on on others for money if you want to do something you have to learn about it and you can do it any way you want you can try out freelancing you can do internships i haven't done yet but uh, i have a lot of people around me who do who actually do it and have been doing it since a lot uh, since a long time so this is something that really affects you and uh, can be helpful in many ways anything else anyone who wants to ask anything ritika i just want to say one more thing that currently as we are having online teachings and students are scoring more than 9 uh, grades out of 10 they are getting a 9 cgpa something like that but still as a teacher i don't believe in such grades because i don't think so they are uh, having that, that much knowledge or they are uh, means learning a lot means it's it's getting too much easier uh, if you just take an online exam or some mcq questions and uh, yeah they will score uh, such kind of marks uh, what do you think student must possess apart from that at least they must have projects they must have uh, you know internships they must have uh, some uh, something as as you mentioned that you are just good in sports also you are just good in uh, writing also Uh, what do you suggest from your side that uh, if one student said okay uh, i am i am having nine grades sir, who who can stop me um okay so um putting out all these extra curricular activities on a resume actually shines out and may help you getting a job uh, so uh, doing other things i think you should do it related to your field not just anything you can put out in a resume actually it helps a lot but things related to your field might help you more for example if you are if you are a statistics student so and if you are doing programming so uh, programming plus statistics is a really good combination and will help you out in uh, in jobs and as i said projects i don't think doing projects on the old type of projects will help you in any way you should how uh, you should make some new and innovative projects to help you so they can actually be great for the society great for yourself great for the company as well so they can help you in getting that job and uh, the projects is one thing so and another thing is assignments assignments you should always try to do it yeah as kartik is saying yeah google is the answer obviously and uh, in india they have mentioned uh, they have actually emphasized a lot on cgpa and obviously it is really obvious that the children will actually cheat or just to search out for answers and examinations which because they have to maintain a cgpa from my point of view if they are getting a chance to maintain the cgpa online why will not they do it why to lose your marks for free but actually it will hit you in a offline exams and i can actually relate my mid semesters were offline uh, sorry online and my end semesters are offline so yeah that's a pretty pretty bad so that's a pretty bad condition right now but all right i just have to cover it so i think if it's online you just uh, you just actually go for it and i won't say that uh, actually is wrong but a lot of people are doing it uh, so i don't think what to actually say on this but yeah if you're getting a chance why not do it but in your offline exams you actually have to study and maintain your cgpa and if you're not able to do it then it, then it will definitely clearly show this is all for that question
um yeah i just saw that uh, saw that course yeah is is the one actually you should follow it is the correct one all right students any other questions please uh if you have any more questions you can ask me right now well ratika it's become um, very yeah. much, very much difficult uh, as a teacher to motivate students means you know as we talk about you know projects and all such things you know just uh, to cope up just um, cope up the students yes aisa karna hai aapko and you should be prepared you know uh, by all these sessions uh, you are uh, for the today's session i'm just trying to connect the students that yes uh, we are having student she or he is doing something good in this much areas you know you must learn something if you are not getting the teachers words if you are having something uh, you, which you can't uh, reach out to the teachers you can't ask to teachers you can ask to your colleagues you can discuss with your yes. colleagues you can discuss with your uh, with the students who are of your same uh, you know same your uh, education or something like that so you can ask to them if you you can't ask to your teachers so it will help, help you okay so you know this is really wonderful uh, ratika that you have suggested very good points to the students here um thank you sir thank you for having me here and thank you for all the attendees for being such patient listeners i really appreciate it a lot and thank you sir for reaching out to me uh, it's really appreciated so that's it all from my side and thank you for time everyone i just hope Are you it i uh, help a bit yeah ritika um, i just uh, uh, request you that uh, if it's possible we will again uh, we gonna have a session uh, so me such kind of sessions it should have to be done on regular basis um okay uh, i'll be ready for it just to can we do it after a month actually i have my end semester is coming yeah yeah sure sure any time yeah, okay. for your convenience yeah okay thank you thanks a lot okay thank you students thank you ritika again oh uh, thank you